So maybe we can ask Andrew um, about the origins of the foundation. Uh, the Danilo Foundation, if you want to take your microphone. Oh, but I have to be sorry. Ooh. Hello? Well, first of all, uh, thank you for all being here today. It's a, it's a great honor to be here amongst you and amongst friends and, and uh, new faces too. I, I see some. Um, what I'm looking at here is, uh, wow, that's a long time ago. That's my mom and my sister and Professor Pratichny. And uh, um, our, our decision to work with Dominique uh, in 2000, starting in 2005, was uh, largely based on the fact that uh, what we wanted to achieve in terms of our efforts uh, in, in, uh, in the furtherance of my father's interests in, in his country uh, they were very much aligned with Dominique's uh, vision, and uh, I think it was just a fortuitous uh, time for us because we had uh, tried a, uh, a several different sort of avenues, uh, and none of which seemed to be really uh, working for us and our goals. So uh, when Dominique and the University of Ottawa approached us, uh, we were very gratified to uh, have uh, not just the quality of, of person that Dominique is, uh, but uh, his vision, and, and one thing we can all say for sure about Dominique is that his, his interest in this field of study is, uh, is unparalleled, and his dedication and commitment is unparalleled, and, uh, and his, his social grasp uh, around the globe uh, in, the, in the field of Ukrainian studies is, is truly uh, something to marvel at. Uh, as we see, as the years go by, you'll see the, the variety of not just quality of people that we had, but the, the wide range of topics of interest. And, you know, we've had a very uh, tumultuous uh, 15 years in terms of events in Ukraine. So it was a, a very, always a very good opportunity for us to, uh, you know, be a, 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 a good sort of re reflection of what, you know, literally just happened. Uh, I, I could say that for almost every year of the seminar in, in Ukraine. So it was, uh, I think, a very well-conceived uh, pitch, and uh, uh, I, I don't, um, I don't doubt that uh, I didn't doubt at the time that that Dominique was uh, of of exceptional quality, and his ideas were exceptional. And over the years, it's borne out to be true. So I'm surrounded by some really amazing people, and who continue to work very, very hard, uh, not just on their own and for their own interests, but uh, also uh, for the furtherance of the chair uh, here in Ottawa. And uh, we look forward to a continued uh, relationship going forward. So. Thank you. I mean, the purpose was not, of course, to shower so much praise upon me. <laughs> I'll have to deflect it to my uh, esteemed friends. Um, it, 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 by osmosis, it, 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 it trickles into everybody in the room here, Dominique. So. We saw in the previous session that um, it is ultimately impossible to to bury emotions. You know, the emotions really come, came out uh, pretty strongly, and the reason I am emphasizing this is that it's, <clears throat> it's pretty unusual, I believe, in the in the world of uh, let's say philanthropy and fundraising, and to have the donor uh, be so engaged that Andrew, with the exception of two years out of fifteen, where you really had a good excuse. Andrew always makes the trek to Ottawa. It's not easy. It's not easy today because, you know, have got other things to do. <laughs> I understand. Um, so it shows the level of commitment and passion, but it's also inspiring to us that uh, it's not just a check. We can see that there is a, again, that there's something real behind it. So perhaps... In a few words, what drives you with in your relations with Ukraine? I mean, what is it that you? Why is it that even though it's hard for you, for oh, well, you know, it's, it's, you it's, to it's, come every it's, year, it's, that it's, you it's not, at home here. It's, it's not that hard, Dominique. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, if you ask me what drives me, you know, I can only uh, point to you know my. Uh, you know, upbringing with, uh, in, within my family and, and my parents and, and uh, all the experiences I had uh, over the years as my father, you know, participated and engaged in 
uh, you know, various projects and organizations uh, that, you know, his, his primary focus was always his country and, and, the, and the betterment of, uh, and the education of, of uh, Ukrainians all over the world. So, um, you know, it, it, there's, you know, I, I guess I can only point to sort of my, my upbringing within that environment where, you know, uh, those, uh, those things were always really important. Uh, in, in our life, in my life, and in my father's life, and uh, it just seems very natural. Like I don't, it's, it's not a, it's, this is not a stretch. This is not a, but you make it sound like it's a burden for me to get here today. But I, I, I missed two, I had to delay two flights because of uh, work obligations. But six o'clock, I was here, uh, so it's it, uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here. And uh, I, I think that's the best way to answer the question. Is it's just, you know, since I was a small boy. Uh, it was either through the, you know, not a Nadim or, or the Ukrainian uh, Professional Businessmen's Association or the, you know, I remember when I was, when I was, I first got my license, my mother had this big old Lincoln and my father uh, and I, I was driving my father and a bunch of elderly uh, Ukrainian men uh, to the airport because they were going to New York uh, to give evidence for the Joint Commission of Inquiry of the, into the famine in Ukraine. So there was always there was always something about uh, about Ukraine uh, that was in my life on a regular basis in sort of an important way, uh, not just sort of in a passing way. So I just kind of grew up with it, Dominic. I think that's the best way to to answer it. If I can just elaborate a bit, if you don't mind, about your father I and mean, uh, Professor Magoshi, when we talked about another major philanthropist in Toronto, Petro Yatsik, he said. He had no patience with lazy people because he was a doer. He wanted to do things. Uh, Andrew's father was definitely a doer in the community. He was a lawyer, very much involved, and as we saw earlier, um, involved actually in the creation of the chair at the University of Toronto. And then later on, as you just alluded to, was a driving force that was through the World uh, Congress of Ukrainians, I believe, but still based in Toronto in the creation of an international commission of inquiry by, by jurists in the late, mid to late 1980s as on, on the Ukrainian famine. And uh, the US Congress uh, has put together a commission of investigation, but this was on for the US Congress, the higher historian to basically collect testimonies and so forth. And uh, Andrew's father uh, was basically on the legal side. Um, Again, in, in those days, the question was, was there even a famine, right? It was the recognition of the fact of the famine and how to categorize the famine. So Mr. Volodymyr George Danilov uh, was very much involved. So that's the environment you grew in, grew up in. Absolutely, for sure. 